Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a comparison video between my two Chanel minis. So my rectangle Chanel mini and then my square Chanel mini as well. And I've had my square one for a little while now and the rectangle is a slightly newer addition to my bag collection. And ever since I revealed this on my channel, I've gotten so many requests to do a comparison of the two. I wanted to wait a little bit just because I wanted to get a real feel for the bag rather than just kind of launch into it two days after I got it. So I have used the bag a few times now, so I feel like I have have a good idea of its pros and cons and so I'm going to be comparing the two going through what can fit in them, uh, chain length and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to get stuck right in. So first up is my square mini and I've had this for about a year now I think. I can't remember exactly when I got it but I think it's been about a year. I did get this pre-loved and I got it in the black caviar with the gold hardware. I was really lucky to find it. I got a pretty good discount off retail. I know these aren't the easiest to find so I really lucked out and this is pretty much the same structure as a classic flap just in the square size. So you have the pocket on the back with the quilting and then the quilting does follow through on the bottom as well and then you just have the turn lock and it opens up, there is no uh, double flap, so it's just single and there's no zip there either. And then on the inside you, you can see it's just kind of a, a square empty space I suppose and then you have a little pocket there and then a zip pocket there as well. So very, very simple, you know, there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles with the bag but it's just, yeah, a very nice kind of simple structured bag and uh, very cute in its mini size. And then for the rectangle mini, I do actually have this one full at the moment because I wanted to fill it up with stuff to show you guys and then transfer the contents um, as I did with my last comparison video, which was my Gucci Soho and LV Alma BB. But this is the rectangle one. So in terms of sizes, you can see the square is a tiny bit taller. And kind of the same width I would say but then obviously the rectangle mini is that little bit wider so there's not masses of difference from looking at it but this one's definitely taller and the rectangle is definitely longer so here it is again this is really exactly just a shrunk down version of the classic flaps so you have the pocket again quilting follows through you have the turn lock Again, no double flaps, they're just a single one and there are all my contents inside. I will show you the inside once I empty it out. But yeah, just very, very similar in terms of structure to the square mini, just essentially a different, a different shape really. In terms of contents, you may have been able to see, but I did fill this pretty full. This is probably fuller than I would usually do it, but I wanted to show you if you had to, what could fit in at capacity. So. Here are all my contents and I'm just going to try and go ahead and transfer everything that's in here into my square mini as well. So I have my headphones because I always carry my headphones everywhere. I'm going to put those in last. So I did fit in my uh, Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse and I know this does fit in the square mini as well because I did... Um, I did take this bag on holiday with me and I used this wallet so it fits really nicely in. I have my phone, which I'm just going to pop in. I have a little Chanel compact, which again fits in pretty neatly. I have my card holder, and I just have three other items. So that's it, kind of empty so again a quick detour but it's the same structure pretty much so you just have that pocket there and then a zip pocket which is exactly the same as the square mini so really identical bags just a slightly different shape and then for the last few contents it was my keys my lipstick my hello kitty mints And then my headphones I'm going to pop on top. So that is everything and it fits really really neatly. So I can close that without any issues at all, it's not overstuffed and you can see everything just fits in very nicely. I might be able to fit one or two 
more things but really this is kind of at capacity the same as my rectangle mini and that actually kind of surprised me because I've never done that before but they hold exactly the same amount I wouldn't have been able to fit any more inside here and everything that fits in here fits in here very nicely so you know it may seem like this is bigger but this can fit exactly the same and I know I was surprised when I was using this on holiday how much it could fit because I was carrying my passport around I had my sunglasses and everything just fit in here so you know it's such a dark horse it fits so much more than you think which is why I love it you know it looks very dinky but it can hold everything that I would need for day or night uh, so yeah despite appearances they hold pretty much the same one of the biggest differences between the two is the chain length though as you can see I'm holding them pretty level and there is quite a substantial length difference between the two and for that reason I'm actually more of a fan of the square mini because I think this looks most elegant just carried on the shoulder whereas the rectangle mini in my opinion is just a bit too long to do that for me uh, so I'm 5'7 so I'm definitely on the taller side and so you know, if you were any shorter I don't know whether it would look proportionally right uh, if you did want to wear it just on the shoulder I think it would probably look better as a crossbody but I am gonna kind of model them both so here is my square mini and I absolutely <laughs> love this I love wearing it like this I think it's very cute however crossbody it's a bit too short you know I could do it but I personally would feel a little bit silly especially if I was wearing a coat like that would just be a little bit too short for me so my favorite way to wear it is just on the shoulder and then my rectangle mini I mean you can't even really see that but it comes very very long so you know I still would wear it like this but I would just prefer it if it was that little bit shorter so it hit a bit higher but for crossbody this is absolutely perfect so that to me is the perfect length for crossbody so because of the chain length I think there are two very different ways to wear them so for me the rectangle is very much a crossbody option whereas this is very much a shoulder bag option and kind of see the two the two differences in length there I'll just also pop them both on crossbody so you can see so that's where they hit crossbody so that is quite a bit higher that's kind of right the middle of my waist whereas this is more at my hip As for prices, so the square mini is 1660 I believe and the rectangle mini is 1840 Those prices are, to the best of my knowledge, it's always a bit tricky pinning down Chanel prices because unfortunately they do go up quite a lot so the minis did just undergo another price increase and I do think those prices reflect that. So I remember I bought mine just after the price increase which was very unfortunate but I was just happy to get this combination because I absolutely love it. I don't know why the rectangle mini is priced more than the square. I think I probably prefer the square a little bit more but I guess the rectangle mini reflects the medium large flap a little bit more which would be my guess as to why they priced it a bit higher. In terms of availability, so these are both considered seasonal bags, I feel like I'm doing a kind of juggling act right now, uh, they are both considered seasonal bags which means that they aren't available all year long, it just depends on their seasonal collection releases. So. This may look like a kind of classic line with the black caviar and the gold hardware and I think that the minis were originally part of the you know normal kind of classic flap collection but they're not anymore and I have no idea why they decided to do that so this isn't going to be as readily available as for example a black caviar jumbo or anything like that so it depends on the season the black isn't always available just the same as the red isn't always available it just kind of depends on what's in their seasonal collections what's in their theme and all that kind of stuff. I do believe that the caviar is a little bit harder to get hold of now. I don't think they release caviars as readily as they do the lambskins, which are released pretty much every season, I think. So again, I'm not sure why they do that. I think it's a general move from Chanel towards lambskin rather than caviar, which I know upsets a lot of people because I know the caviar is really, really loved and just a very, very useful bag. So. I like clam skin as well but obviously it's much much more delicate. In terms of the pros and cons now and I really can't think of many I mean these bags are very very similar so oh goodness um, I would say that 
if I had a con with one, I'd probably have a con with the other. The only difference, and that's probably where the cons do come in, is the chain length. So for me, this is purely a shoulder length bag, and I prefer to wear my bags that way, which is why my preference is for the square mini, whereas this chain is just a little bit too long. I still do wear it on the shoulder, but this is much more suited, in my opinion, to a crossbody bag. I'm just not really that much of a crossbody girl. I do still wear it crossbody, and I wear it both ways, but... I personally would prefer it if the chain length was a little bit shorter. That said, you know, I still love it for what it is. It's still a beautiful bag. In terms of the different leathers, I would say that if it's your first mini and you don't have that many bags in your collection, then I would go for the caviar just because it's so carefree. You know, you really don't have to think about it. And this has been kind of battered about a bit and it just looks perfect still. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Whereas I am very, very careful with the lambskin just because it's obviously that much more delicate. I'm happy to have lambskin now in my collection because I do have a few bags which I can rotate in and out, which means that there's less wear on this. So. I love the lambskin for the look, I think especially with colour, it's absolutely amazing, so I'm so glad I got it in this combination, but this was always going to be an occasional bag for me, you know, it's not a bag I would wear every single day, but for every now and then I don't think it can be beat, I think it's just such a beautiful bag and the lambskin is just such a luxurious material. So that's it for this comparison video, I hope you found it useful. In terms of which bag I prefer, I think it's pretty obvious, but my heart still remains with my little square mini, I do like my rectangle one a lot as well but for me I just really like the fact that this is its own distinct little bag with its own little shape whereas this is pretty much just a shrunk down version of the medium large. I still really like it and if I had to choose between the rectangle mini and the medium large I would definitely pick the rectangle mini especially for the price you know you can't fit that much more in the medium large bag whereas this is over a thousand pounds cheaper so this retails for 1840 whereas the medium large I think is 3040 and so, you know, for over a thousand pounds, I would definitely say this is the better buy. But out of the two, uh, I think the square mini just edges it because of its shape and also because the strap length is just more suitable for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you found it useful. If I did miss anything out, then please just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.